our maths today, we are going to look at um, applying our negative number skills to some problems and some reasoning situations. So I've posted the um, PowerPoint presentation on Seesaw, but I just want to go through um, a couple of questions with you so you know how to work these out. The first type of question um, that you will come across, um, and if you looked at the PowerPoint, you'll see this as it will appear on the worksheet that you're going to do. And it asks you, which is the odd one out in these four situations? Which is the odd one out? A, the difference between three and minus four, nine more than minus two, the difference between minus five and two, and 10 more than minus four, which is the odd one out. So I need to carefully work these out um, so I can see. So I have my number line here. And the first one is the difference between three and minus four. Well, minus four is there and three is there. So I'm looking at this distance here. What is the difference between these, these two numbers? Well, I've got three above zero and I've got four below zero. And so the three and the four together, the first one is going to be seven. So the answer to that one is seven. Let's look at the second one. Nine more than minus two. Nine more than minus two. Well, there's minus two. And I want nine more. So I'm adding nine on. So I'm moving to the right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and there, oh, I get seven again. Okay, so I can see a pattern emerging now. The difference between minus five and two. Well, here's minus five. So there's minus five, just put a mark down below there. And two is over here. So what is the difference between minus five and two. Well, I've got two above zero and I've got five below zero. So that five and that two, they make seven. So that one is seven also. So now I know that the last one is going to be the odd one out, but I need to prove that. 10 more than minus four. Okay, 10 more than minus four. Here is minus four. I'm gonna add 10 to it. So I'm moving to the right because my numbers get bigger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. So that one is six. So D is the odd one out. Here are the next set of questions that you'll come across on the sheet. Um, and what we have to do in here is we have to work out what these three children are saying. And then we've got to put them in order from the smallest to the largest. So let's have a look. Hafsa says, what is the difference between 21 degrees C and minus 32? 21 and minus 32, what is the difference? Okay, well, if 21 is positive, I know that I've got if my zero is there, I know I've got 21 above zero. And I know that I've got minus 32 there. I've got 32 below zero. So I've got 21 on this side. And I've got 32 on that side, on either side of the zero. So what would the distance between those two be? I would just simply put them together. So 32 one side, 21 at the other side, that gives me 53 degrees. So I know that this top one, oops, my paper's coming off the edge of my book. That one is 53 degrees. That is the difference. I've got 21 above zero, 32 below zero. I add those two together. Let's look at the next one. Josh says, which number is halfway? between minus six and 48. Okay, just move my paper down to do my working out. 
Well, again, if, I, if I'm finding the difference between um, minus 6 and 48, I've got, just do my zero there, I've got 48 on one side. And if I'm minus 6, I've got 6 on the other side. 48 above zero, 6 below zero. What have I got in total with those two? What is the distance between those two? 48 that way, 6 that way. That means a distance of 54 degrees. But Josh is asking me for the number which is halfway between. So what is halfway between 54? What is the halfway point 54? Well, I'm going to halve it. I'm going to divide it by 2. And that gives me 27. So what I need to do now, what will be easiest for me to do is, um, is look at the positive number. I'm going to look at 48. 48 degrees, and I want to be halfway between minus 6 and 48, um, so I need to count 27. And I'm going to count 27 backwards from 48. So basically it's 48, take away 27, and on that one I get 21 degrees. Okay. Now Isabel says, what is 27 greater than minus 28? Just move my paper down to do my working out. Um, 27 greater than minus 28. Well, if it's greater, I'm adding, I'm getting bigger, I'm moving to the right. And I'm moving along 20, I'm going to count along 27 places. Okay, and when I count along 27 places, I get to minus 1. If I'd counted 28 places, I got to zero because I'm 28 below zero, but I'm only doing 27 places. So I haven't quite got to zero. I would be at minus one. So I'm going to put my answer on here. Minus one degrees. Now I've got my three answers. And what I have to do now, the second part of the question is to put them in order from the smallest to the largest. Well, I can see that minus one is first, then it's 21, and then it's 53. So I would write my answer in order, minus one degrees, 21 degrees, and 53 degrees. So that's the second type of questions you'll come across. This last type of question um, needs us to think very, very carefully and do this very slowly. Now, we're told that Ben has got £23 in his bank account. He pays his phone bill and he buys a T-shirt. He's now overdrawn by £42. And that means he's spent more money than he's actually got. And so he actually has been using the bank's money. So now he owes the bank money. So he's overdrawn by £42. If the phone bill was £39, how much did he spend on the T-shirt? OK. Let's think about this very, very carefully. He's now overdrawn by £42. So he's got minus £42 in his bank. He owes the bank £42 because he spent more money than he's got. Let's put that phone bill back on to his account. OK, so I've got, I'm at minus 42. I'm going to put that phone bill back on there just for the moment. And if I've got minus 42 and I add 39 to it, I get to minus 3. Remember, I'm counting. If you've got yourself a long number line, um, you can count along. That will help you. And I get to minus 3. OK. Now... I know he had £23 in his bank account altogether. So I'm going to count along now from minus 3. I'm going to count along 23. And when I count along from minus 3 to 23, I'm counting along there, I'm not adding... When I count along from minus 3 to 23, I find that I have counted along 26 
places. Okay, so the difference between his phone bill and how much he has in his bank account is £26. And that is the amount he spent on his t-shirt. Now that explains how that works, but you may have spotted £39 for his phone bill, £23 in his account.